Okay, I've got one more project for you, and this time we're going to make a wreath. We're going to need some black elastic. I chose black. I guess white would do fine. Um, I just thought it might look prettier in the hair if it was black. And this is one quarter inch black elastic. And we just need a little pin for a marker. And we're going to use the craft glue, not the tacky glue, because the tacky glue is not for things that are wearable. And I think if you're wearing it in your hair, that's wearable. <laughs> and I've gotten all of these sunflowers ready. I chose the number seven because an odd number is much more pleasing to the eye than an even number. So let's get started here. I've already measured out the elastic. I measured it to be 30 inches because we want to have room for tying at the end. It might seem a little long. I know your kid's head's not that big, but we want it a little bit long. So 30 inches. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the center. Just put the ends together and loop it to the end here. Got a little fold there. And we're going to put a little marker in it with our pin, just like that. Okay, lay it down. And you might notice this time I have my surface covered. I just covered it with a trash bag because this is going to be kind of messy and we need to have some protection. So. One thing good about it being an odd number is that um, it's easy to find the center. So we'll get our central flower. I'll just take mine out of my stack right here. Put a little bit of glue on the back of it. And I'm going to take the pen out, the pin out, because it might get stuck there if we don't. So it was just to hold the place for us, and then we're just going to glue right that right down there. And then we want to put a little leaf. And just get it right underneath there, pretty close. Of course, your number of flowers doesn't have to be seven. It can be whatever you think. Maybe your little one would only like to have a, about three flowers on her wreath, but maybe she would like even more. Okay, now ready for the next flower. And glue the next one down. You might even want to add more leaves. I think maybe it would look prettier if I made this one go up a little more like that and this one down a little more. It might show up a little better, don't you think? I'll push that over a little bit. Okay. And I am going to be very truthful. I haven't even tried this yet. I just all of a sudden got this idea and thought, well, I am just going to do it with you and we'll see if it turns out. <laughs> Sometimes you never know till you just do it. Okay. Okay, time for two more flowers. My little girl is all grown up or this would be a very fun thing to be making her to wear. I think she would have loved it when she was little. I think right now she probably wouldn't want to be wearing it. Put a little glue on this leaf. And notice how I'm making one leaf go up and the next one facing down. It just I think looks prettier that way. More aesthetically pleasing. I'm getting a little bit of glue on my hands. Time to clean that off. Okay. Now for our next round of flowers. And that's going to be our final ones. This goes pretty quickly. I think I'm having fun. Glad I thought of it. You know, I like to put two, I just thought it would look kind of pretty to put two leaves on the end. Got a little petal in the way there. Excuse me, Mr. Sunflower. And there we go. And there we go here. All we gotta do now is wait for it to dry. Which probably will take a bit of time because this kind of glue takes all the way to dry all the way. Sometimes it takes a whole day. So I guess we'll see you in a day.
Bye for now. Okay, I'm back and the flower wreath has been drying and the plastic actually stuck to the back of it but that's okay you can just peel it off that's what I've been doing and I'll just finish peeling it right here to show you what I'm doing it's got to be a little bit careful because that tissue is a little bit fragile just peel off the plastic and I guess if you really had a bind you could just cut it leave the plastic on but I think this is going to work like I say, we'll each have a little, probably a little bit different glue. If you don't get exactly the same brand I had, you might have a little bit different result in how the glue reacts to what you um, glued. But I still think it worked out fine. Can't think of a better way. If you can think of a better way, I'd love to know. <laughs> okay, I've got the plastic all peeled off, and now it's time to measure the garland to your child's head. Now, I do not have a little girl around. My little girl's all grown and gone to college, so I'm going to have to go hunt me up a little girl. But I am going to show you what I will do when I find that little girl. <laughs> I'm going to take the elastic, put the um, wreath on the head, and then I'm going to take the elastic, and I will just tie a, a knot in the back and then trim it off. I will not trim it off now because I haven't measured it to my little friend's head yet. So I'm just going to leave this down. So... Let's leave that hanging down so I can trim it off later. Now I've I measured out some ribbons. I picked some fall colors because to me um, sunflowers mean the fall. Daisies are for spring and sunflowers are for the fall. So I just picked yellow and a green, a sheer red, and yellow and an orange. And I cut them all off at an angle on the ends because that will keep it from fraying. I cut my ribbon 60 inches long. Like I say, I always cut it a little long because it's better to have it too long than too short. So when you do um, get your ribbon all ready, I like to keep the ends a different length. They don't all have to be evened up. I think it looks pretty and more flowing this way. So I'm going to find my, I'm going to take it to the other end and find the loop. And I'm going to loop it around inside the wreath. And then I'm going to pull it through, and I'm simply just going to tie a bow. Now, bows are not my forte. People who make presents, and with the perfectly wrapped presents, that is not me. I have fun wrapping presents, and I like to do neat things, but my bows are never as perfect as other people's bows. So, I am going to do my best. There we go. Even them all out. And you could just leave it hanging just like that. Or you could try a bow, which I shall be brave and make a bow. How am I doing? Am I doing okay? <laughs> now, this elastic's getting in a way here, but we'll have to pretend it's not there because I do want to make sure this is going to be perfect for a little girl. So, I'll just push the elastic a little bit out of the way there and you can see how it will hang on the back of her head. And here's the sunflower wreath finally at home on a pretty little girl. For my Christmas wreath, I chose a poinsettia with pretty sparkly centers for the pom-poms. Then I tried using fabric instead of tissue. It kind of has a nice springy or summery feel to it. I think this one was my favorite. I just love pink and orange together. and. When I let my little model choose her favorite to keep, she liked this one best too.